Oh, well, hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? How are you, Blanca? Fine, teacher, and you? How, how was your weekend? Well, it was great. It was great. It was great. It rained a, it rained a, a few nights. It had been raining, and let me see. Yesterday, we had a, eight hours of no electricity, so. But other than that, it was it was okay. The electricity it's failing in everywhere, right? At, well, for us here in San Miguel, it was from five in the morning to one p.m. We had no electricity. But I looked. I mean, at the, I mean because on my work and in my house, it's failed too. Uh, the last week. Oh, okay. And in my house, uh, it's almost it's been it's been almost eight hours. And in my, on my work too, but but I don't don't be there when hap when that happened. Okay. So yeah, it's been. It's been like that, but I looked at the website, so I, I knew that I wasn't going to have power or electricity, right? I go to the L website, and it, that's how I found out. I was like, well, I kind of figure, right? But it shows the diff it shows all the different parts. I think they're doing a lot of fixing. They're fixing a lot of things. So, but yeah, you know, it, I it, hope so. It's very common, right? It's very common, right, Blanca, for this to happen, right? Yeah, it's common. <laughs> Let me see. So hopefully this week we don't get no power outages, right? Hello, Rolando, Freddy, saying Janari, how are you? Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. I'm Hi. sorry. How are you? Uh, I'm a little stressful a because little? I have a bad day. Okay. Well, I hope it gets better. I, I think so. Gets... <laughs> I hope it gets better, right? Let me see. Yeah. All right. Let me check this. Okay, can you let me let me start by let's see what is it eight oh three already? Let me all right. Let me hello Edwin. Hello teacher. How, How are, are you? you? I'm doing great. Oh, great. Oh, oh, I'm fine. Thank you for asking. <laughs> All right. What about you, Freddy? How are you? Pretty good. Hmm? I'm doing right now. Pretty good. All right. Let me see. Okay. Yes. On Friday, we, we did. um. We did some activities, right? Pretty much it was just basic understanding of the unit in relation to um, branding and loyalty, those type of things. We're going to continue with the pyramid, okay? And we're going to be continue with unit four we're going to continue with unit four. I know it's Monday, right? It's already, we're almost finished. This is the last week that we have. Okay. So give it all you got. Try to give it all you got and try to do your best. That way we can finish and hopefully you continue. 
with the scholarships, right? Hopefully you continue with the scholarships and your commitment, your commitment. So having said that, it's already a little bit past eight. So I'm going to begin the first attendance, okay? I'm supposed to do it at eight o'clock, but you know, I give you a little bit of minutes for those to connect, just a little bit. So let's begin. Abigail, okay, not here. Beatriz, Beatriz, not here. Um, Blanca, Blanca, Present. all right, thank you. Brenda, Brenda, okay, not present. Carlos, Carlos, okay, not here. Diana, Diana, okay, not here. Edwin, Edwin. Present. All right, thank you. Present. Thank you. Flor. Present. All right, thank you. Francisco. Francisco. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you. Glenda. Glenda. Okay. No answer. Iris. Iris. Present teacher. All right, great. Jackie, Jackie, okay, no answer, um, Jarvin, all right, great, Jennifer, Jennifer, okay, no answer, Juan Jose, I'm here, all right, thank you, Miguel, Miguel. I'm here, teacher. All right. Let me see. I'm here. All right. Thank you. Fabio. Fabio. Okay. No answer. Rolando. Rolando. I know you're connected from the beginning. Janari. I'm here. All right. Thank you. All right. Let's continue. I'm going to share screen. And can you begin, please? Um, let me see. Freddy's. Here. Okay. Good evening. Uniform loyalty. How to use expressions to clarify a point. Loyalty. Monday, October 18, 2000. 21, teacher Mr. Henry, intermediate three, class number 23. All right, very good, very good. Excellent, thank you. Okay, so we're almost finished, right? We're almost finished. We will finish everything by, by tomorrow and then by Friday, I mean by Wednesday, it's just going to be a small review. And Wednesday we will do the survey, okay? We will do the survey. So try to be punctual, right? Traten de ser puntuales el miércoles because eh, desde el momento que administración entre a la clase, empezaríamos. Si ellos entran a las 8 en punto, empezaríamos a las 8. Right? Así, me, así me dieron las notificaciones a mí. Así es que por favor sean puntuales eh, eh, porque nomás se haría una vez esa... Ese survey lo haríamos juntos el miércoles. All right. So be prepared. Desde la semana pasada les estoy comentando esto. Y administración me comentó que posiblemente, no sé si algunos para hoy o mañana les llegaría la, la, la información que colocaríamos al día del miércoles juntos. Right. Right. So. Be prepared for that. I will show you a small okay, video. On Wednesday and on Thursday. No, Wednesday. It will be on Wednesday. Thursday, no más es de, la reposición de, de, de una clase de Unit 3. That's all it is. But everything will be done on it's Wednesday. One, 
is going to be one hour, right? One hour, lo que falta una hora, 20 minutos. One hour and 20 minutes y los 10 minutos extra para la persona que se tenía que quedar ese día. So, pero los que no se quedaron ese día, it's going to be one hour and 20 minutes. Right? Eso es lo que me notificaron. Eh, y eso es las indicaciones de INSAFOR. Right? La, la tuve que reponer eso. So, eh, that's only going to be repetition, right? It's only going to be a makeup class. Okay, that's all it is. Es todo lo que es. Pero we will do everything Wednesday. Wednesday. Eso significa que el miércoles, eh, para las 12, antes de que entremos a la conferencia en miércoles. I'm going to say everything in Spanish. So it can be clear. Um, on Wednesday, el miércoles, eh, tendré que mandar todas las notas con todo lo que queda de la Unit 4. Ya sé, eh, estoy hablando del examen final, la final exam, y las tareas de la plataforma, right? Eh, ese sería el último día para hacer las actividades. And, eh, mandaría las notas antes de las 12, o sea, las 12 las mandaría, y ya estaría hecha también la, la encuesta que ustedes mandarían, que es el último el último paso para la continuidad de la beca. Eso right, espero que ya algunos que, que no han terminado las, las tareas en la plataforma, por favor, eh, continúen con eso. Right, no esperen al último momento, si se les va la luz al final. Well, I'm, I would be sorry, ok, para ustedes. Por favor, no esperen al último momento. Hay la mitad de ustedes no han hecho eh, ninguna de las tareas en la plataforma aún. La otra mitad sí ya completó todo. So, eh, la, las notas de ustedes ya las envié. Para sí, el proceso se hace más fácil porque ya tienen el cumplimiento hecho y a la hora que reciban lo, el papeleo, lo más ven allí que usted ya completó todo en la plataforma. And you're good. You're ready to go for the next module, right? Entonces, si no, pues ahí les estarían llamando el área administrativa. Now, um, so... Be ready for Wednesday. Be prepared. Eh, por favor, si estén listos para copiar y pegar de un correo a, a la encuesta. Right? So, be prepared how to do that. Co en cómo hacer eso. I will show you a video also. Um, probably Tuesday, right? Mañana. I will show you a video. Eh, cómo la... Es, Ejemplar, it's only going to be an example, all right? No es que la vamos a hacer, para que estén un poquito más preparados for Wednesday, all right? And I think that that video también les va a llegar a ustedes, all right? El área administrativa se lo mandará, no sería yo, sería el área administrativa. So be waiting for that in your email, en sus correos electrónicos, all right? So be ready for that. All right, let's continue. Um... We're going to continue with unit four, loyalty and how to use expressions to clarify a point, right? And we're going to look at the loyal pyr loyalty pyramid, which is on page, um, page 38 and 39, okay? Page 38 and 39. And we are also going to look at page 35. Empecemos con la 35. Let's go to page 35 on how to use expressions to clarify a point. All right, let's look at page 35. All right, so here we go. This is going to be... It's not so much grammar, okay? It's just, let me turn off a microphone over here, okay. It's, it's not so much grammar, but it's extra vocabulary words that can be implemented when you want to express or clarify a specific situation. These are normally sometimes called transition words, right? But they are 
they are also called uh, clarification words or explanatory words, exemplification words, those types of things that introduce a more, a more clarified way to give your expression. Let's, let's read first, right? One thing is me speaking and another thing is for you to analyze and comprehend what I'm referring to. Okay, let me see. Um, Janari, can you begin, please? How, how, do you, how do you express them to clarify a point? Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercise below. Exercises. Exercises, I'm sorry. Exercises below. Sometimes we need to introduce clarification clarification, the explanation or explanification of our ideas as, as we speak, used in other words, that is to say, some simple, simply. Simple, put, simply put, et cetera, to make your point clear to others. All right, very good. Can you say this word right here? Janari? Ex, 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 exemplification. All right, very good. Exemplification, right? Exemplification. Very good. Excellent. So here we're looking at expressions, which means what you say, what you say, what you mean, or what you are trying to say to someone else. to clarify a point, All right? Expresiones para clarificar su punto, right? What you're expressing, what are you trying to say? What do you mean? Right? Those types of things. Let's continue, please. Um, Edwin. Okay, teacher. Number one, one way to help your target market like and trust you is the publish often through online channels. In other words, write a blog that informs, entertains, and educates. Very good. All right, one way to help your target market like and trust you is to publish often through online channel. In other words, notice the words in bold. Notice the words in bold. What do you think it means in other words? What do you en think? Otras en palabras. Otras palabras. Excellent. Very good. We also Did use... I... Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I just... Uh, trying my headset thing. Uh, your what? I... Hello, Jenny? <laughs> and my... Uh, no, okay, your headphones? Yes, my headphones. Okay, I can hear you, okay, Jennifer? I can hear okay, you. Okay, thank you. Okay, no problem. So you can just say testing, one, two, three, right? Testing. <laughs> no problem, Jennifer. Hear you loud and clear. All right, so we use in other words, and we also use these words also in Spanish. So this shouldn't be difficult because we have the same ideology, the same grammatical structure in vocabulary in Spanish as it is in English. In other words, en otras palabras, right? So you're, you're clarifying your point of view. Write a blog that informs, entertains, and educates. That's just one, right? Now, I gave you some here uh, can you, the ones in green, can you see them right here? I give you uh, others, right? A little bit more extra. I, and here it is, in other words. So you can see that it's also here in this illustration. Uh, in this case, for this reason, to put it another way, to put it differently. Para ponerlo diferente, right? That's just other ways or other words, more phrases to give a clarification of what you are trying to express. Let's continue with number two. 
let me see mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jackie okay number two you can increase your rating mm -hmm. as an expert and reach a bra brother mm -hmm. market it's correct yes i i will okay. let you you're doing great jackie continue okay uh market by developing a podcast that is to stay record your talks and allow your customers to download don't land no mm. don't let it mm, okay here when um, you have it at the end you unify it okay download it download it download it very download good it. excellent much okay. better very good Thank you. all right here we have that is to say these two words mean basically the same thing in English, right? You can use them interchangeably. That is to say, the, does someone know what, what these two mean? Or give me a, a somewhat of a meaning to say that is? How will we translate this to Spanish? Give me something related. Anyone? It's another word to say, for example, es decir, right? Es decir, and then you give the explanation, okay? When we talk about that is, or, or um, to say, SOS, right? That is. Es decir, right? And then you give your explanation, record your talks and allow your customers to download it, okay? This is the meaning of that is and to say, to clarify your expression. Number three, it's um, Freddy? I had a doubt. It's here. Yes, Freddy. I had a doubt. When you say that is, for me, that is es como, like you said, eso es. And to say, yeah, that's how you say it. Uh, say, um, uh, to say, look, like you're saying, es decir. Es decir, o eso quiero decir, uh, eso es, poner esto, right? You can use those different ways and I'm just giving you different forms, right? Different forms that could be used in the translation of that meaning, okay? So I'm giving you more than one, one, one meaning, more than one meaning. Okay. Okay. Okay, Freddy, thank you for asking. All right, now, what about number three? Go ahead, Freddy, read number three. Today's customers are looking for a uh, wait, I got to answer this. For guarantees, simple put. Simply. Simply. Uh, yeah, it's not I yeah. Simply put a sectional service after they have purchased your product. Very good. So what do you think simply put means? Simply put, all right. Remember one other thing is you put commas, okay, to separate it. Right? Because you can easily say, simply put it there, right? Follow me, right? But that's not what it's referring to here, right? Not as a, as a way to put something in a location, right? We're talking about something different, right? We're using it to clear expressions. What do you think simply put means? I can give you like two, right? Like I was saying, Freddy, I'm giving you more than one or different forms of the meaning of the word, of the phrase, sorry, because this is a phrase to word. So it's, it's similar to saying, eh, en pocas palabras, right? Simply put, de forma simple. It's the same as in other words. Eh, in other words, similar, yes. 
right? But in, in other words, significa en otras palabras. Yeah. Here, en pocas palabras. Pocas palabras. Yes, right? Simply put, o de forma simple. Um, it's more direct. Yes, de una forma sencilla. So you're being, just like Flor said, yes, more direct. More direct. All right, so I'm giving you extra definitions so you can get familiarized with these phrases. Okay, Flores, continue with number four. Another free marketing resources for your current internet customers is inviting them to participate in a social networking site, namely a Facebook group. Okay, namely. Very good. What do you think namely means? Okay, I didn't quite hear. Renombrado? Mm, no, renombrado. Renombre? renombre would be rename. All right. But good effort. In our language, there's two ways. There's like three for this, namely, right? But there's like a Spaniard way that we do not use, but we are, we use the other one that is more familiar in our culture. That means es decir, right? Es decir, un Facebook group, right? Es decir, namely. That's what we normally use when we say namely, es decir, right? And number five, let me call on someone. Uh, me, teacher. Go ahead. The ultimate marketing goal is to have your target market think of you. This, which means that you must focus on satisfying customers' needs. Okay. Now here, where it says this, you have to join the word means. Okay. Ah. This, this means, this means or, or which, which means exactly yes um, okay. all right thank you teacher very good excellent right this means or which means must it esto significa right por tal significa lo cual significa those different way um lo que significa you can use them the different ways also i'm giving you different different forms but they all relate to the same thing right they all relate to a lo que significa, right? This means that you must focus on satisfying customers' needs. Now, the focus here are the words in bold, right? Now, I gave you the translation to help you better understand these phrases. When people use them, whether you do them here or outside the country, or anywhere else in your job environment, or if you ever hear someone speak and put these phrases in here, you should be already familiarized with the uh, clarity of the expression by using these phrases. And like I said, we use them in Spanish, and just like Flor mentioned earlier, right? Some of these are very direct, like the word simply put. And someone mentioned, in other words, you have it here, in otras palabras, in other words. Now, can you read these right here that I have in green, please? Um, Miguel. Okay. As an illustration, in this case, for this reason, to put it another way, in other words, to put it in differently. To put it differently. To put it in different, differently. Very good, much better, excellent. All right, so I'm giving you extra here, right? Como, el, como una ilustración, en este caso, por esta razón, para ponerlo en otro modo, en otra manera, para ponerlo diferente. So I'm giving you different, different phrases 
and why am I doing this to go further than what the book says, all right? Because now you're going to put them to use. Here in a few minutes, you're going to create your own sentences, all right? You're going to do your own. But first, <laughs> let's do a little really? bit of practice, all right? But first, let's do a little bit of practice. Look at this part. Can you read the instructions, please, um, Carlos? Yes, teacher. Insert an expression to clarify a point in the following sentence. Are the necessary question to enjoy to join the clause and in phrase? Phrase. 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 All right, very good, very good. So it says insert an expression. So you're going to insert, you're going to insert an expression to clarify a point. Now the expressions are here, right? The expressions are here. And I'm going to write them for you, which ones will be used, all right? Let me see this. Right, let, me, let me turn off my microphone right here. All right. I'm going to write down the ones that you will use. Okay. You can use these means. Okay, you have one, two, three, four, five, right? You have five here, but one is already done. Number one is already done. They are, it's already there as an example. So you have number two, number three, number four, and number five. These are the, these are the phrases that you will use, all right? So there's going to be one, ayuna key, there is one that you can use either or, or this means, or in other words, right? Una de esas lleva, una de estas dos, cualquiera que ustedes sea. Either one, whichever one you decide to put, right? ¿Cuál es? I, you have to decide. But they are not in order. No es que estas son las que van aquí, number two, number three, number four, number no. I changed them, all right? You have to figure out where do they go, all right? But these are the ones that you will use, right? These are four here for number two, number three, number four, and number five. No más puede usar una vez. You can only use them once, all right? So you will use simply put, but then it usar tamely, namely, and in other words, and you will use en una, puede utilizar una de estas dos. This means, or in other words. O sea que puede haber esta dos veces, in other words. All right? So you can have it twice, in other words. Or you can have this means in one. That would be for two, three, four, and five. But this, let's read number one. All right? Let's read number one. Uh, Beatriz, can you read number one, please? Yes. One way to increase brand awareness is to generate only advertising. Online. Online adver advertising. Social networking sites. Sim simple, simply put, social networking sites. 
All right, very good. As you can see, this is the expression that has to be inserted for the sentence to be correct. All right. Okay, can you read it again, Beatriz, correctly? Just one, one sentence, please. Okay. One way to increase brand awareness is to generate online advertising. Simply put, social networking sites. Very good. Perfect. Excellent. All right. So number one is done. Number one is done. And if you notice, you put a comma. You put a comma before and after. Right. Put a comma before and after. Okay. Let me see. All right. So now I gave you the words here. This means, in other words, simply put, namely, in other words. Okay, it's blocking here, right? Right, Beatrice? The, word, the words are blocked. Let me see. Okay, let me get out of. Okay, so when you do these, I want you to send them to me, okay? You will send it to me. Teacher, I have a screenshot. If you want, I can send you. No, I already, uh, I, just, I just have it right here. I'm done, I finished. Right okay. okay, thank you, Carlos. Okay, All right, so there it is right there. You're going to put these number two, number three, number four, and number five. You're going to use one of these. And then send it to me. Let me mark it here. Okay, this will be activity number 15 in class activity, individually. Activity number 15 in class. Now, if you have it in, um, in your notebook, if you have your notebook there, or if you have it on the computer, you can send it to me. I want it complete. Two, three, four, and five. I want the complete sentence, not just the answer. No quiero que me manden nomás la respuesta. I want the complete phrase, the complete sentence. Incorporate it in the sentences. Remember to use the punctuation correctly. La puntuación Teacher, correctamente. Yes. I have a question. Yes. I understand the meaning of, of the word that we learn, but what is the criteria that that we fo that I follow for select the respective word? Okay, you're going to select the the word that best fits la cual mejor encaje con la con la expresión dada, right? You're going to, to select the one that is best suited for the expression to clarify the point. ¿Cuál de estas da un mejor, una mejor claridad de la expresión dada? Right? Now remember, some of these you can use them 
son casi iguales, some of them, right? But I want to see how they well. They are similar. Yeah, yeah, all right. All right. Now, look at some of these examples that we were doing, all right? Look at some of these examples, all right? Normally, when we talk about namely, all right, for example, when we talk about namely, nos referimos a algo. Right? If you look, you have to analyze, right? When you, namely, we're talking about something. We're yeah. talking about something. Something concrete. Mm -hmm. All right? I can give you that. Try to see. This is where I'm going to see if you can, if you're able to distinguish. If you already know the meaning, Let's see how well you can put it here to clarify an expression. All right, Orlando, this is challenges. Este es un reto, right? I know it is. I know okay. it is, right? Trust me, I know because I myself can sometimes use some of these. E it could be correct also, right? So okay. I understand what you what you're referring to, Rolando. And sometimes the meaning is like, bueno, puedo poner esta también, right? I can put this one also, right? <laughs> but there are some that are going to be more specific in relation to the expression. But when you send it to me, van a haber unas que sí van a ser aceptables y otras que definitivamente no. All right? But try to do your best, all right? Okay, teacher, thanks. All right.
Mm. There could be some changes. All right. Remember what I told you about the punctuation, right? La puntuación. Que Beatriz, can you repeat? ¿Cuál es la puntuación adecuada? Can you repeat it for the class, please? When you use these phrases, what do you have to do? Yes, and uh, we have to put a comma before and after the expression. Very But good. If we use simple, simply put, you have to write down a comma first, after simply put, and a comma at the end. Very good, excellent. Very good, all right. Thank you. That's what it means here when he's saying, add the necessary, add the necessary punctuation to join the clause in a phrase together. Just like it is here in the examples, all right? I don't think some people heard what you said, Beatriz. <laughs> Todavía estoy recibiendo trabajo y lo acaba de recordar usted, but okay. Right. All right, Miguel. Yes, exactly what Beatriz said. Perfect. Está poniendo atención. Very good, Miguel. Excellent. Perfect. That shows you're paying attention to the class. Jarvin. All right, you put the commas. Very good, that means you're paying attention to the class, perfect. Thank you, Jarman. All right, so. I have a question. Sure. <clears throat> the expression that is and between um, uh, to say, I don't know when or if that is in that way that is and in parents or yeah it, they mean the same thing in this case Bobby. <clears throat> they mean the same thing all right but is needed to be in the same way that is and to say at the same time or no they're both uh, this the same way as this one right here this means or which means 
There's just two words that can basically be put in the same same way, but you do not say that is and then to say, right? You, either you can say that is or you can say to say. Okay. You can write to thank say. You. Okay, thank you. And that would be like saying Fabio es decir, right? Es decir. Okay, Janari. That's I'm going to give you. Just a. Uh, Maybe one or two minutes more. Now remember, why do they put emphasis here? And, uh, and Beatriz mentioned it to the class, right? Why do they, why does the activity specify the necessary punctuation to join? Because we're joining clauses, right? Estamos uniendo cláusulas. So when you join clauses, you put commas, right? Do you remember when you studied the if clauses? The if clause, first condition or second condition or all that, the conditionals, when you use the if clause uh, with the main clause, you have to in a comma, right? That is proper, uh, proper writing. In case you ever have to write something in your work or in anything related to, to business or maybe you need to write something for, for a presentation or something, you must be able to you have to be able to understand punctuation correctly. If not, it shows the, the lack of knowledge in dealing with punctuation. That's why you have to put commas to separate clauses. All right, let me see. Okay, so I'm going to give you about one more minute. So we can continue and then we can do it together. Okay, we can do it together. But I will, if you send it to me, eh, con tal que me la manden, eh, le voy a poner que la entregó. All right. As long as you send it. Remember that when I ask for activities, cuando yo, hemos hecho muchas actividades juntos in class, the activities in class. No las tomo como nota, all right? I take it as effort, commitment, discipline, and your ability to work inside the online classes. That's what I look at, okay? Not so much the grade. I look at your commitment to progressing and doing an activity online in class. Okay, class, I'm going to call on someone and I want you to give me the answer for number two, but you are going to read it and you are going to give me what you consider to be the best phrase to express the sentences. All right, and I wanted to join them with the correct uh, phrase. Now, some of these, you, um, I said the word correct, right? But what best fits? And if you give me another one that I consider to be, eh, it's acceptable, then it's okay, all right? Don't worry about it, all right? I can give you what the book says, and I can give you what I believe, okay? And what you believe. We're going to take all those three factors into consideration, all right? So there isn't like, this is, esta es nomás, no, 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 all right? I can give you what the book says, but I can override that. And if you give me a, your own opinion, then we can clarify it here in class, no problem. 
Number two, who wants to read number two? Challenge. I challenge any one of you to read number two. All right. Freddy. Go ahead, Freddy. Diana, you can do number three, okay? Since you raise your hand. Okay, number two. Brand recognition is a very important element of brand awareness. In other words, the consumers, the consumer knows that a particular brand exists. All right, very good. In other words, right? In other words, very good. That is actually the correct word that the book has, or this means also, okay, for number two. But it's basically this one. In other words, in other words, this one. In other words, the last one. The book has it as number two. All right? Number three, Diana. Brand recognition happens when a customer is able to identify a certain product or service. It means by viewing the product's logo. Okay. All right, you say this means, right? Okay. That is acceptable. That is acceptable. Anyone else has something different? The book has something different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. namely namely okay does anyone have something else i have to say me teacher to I say. Have namely namely okay very good all right to say i have this means to all right this means <clears throat> Mm, I don't know about this means, right? Because no está dando una significación de lo que está hablando. So maybe this means will probably not fit there, right? Porque this means significa, esto significa, and it's not giving like a, a, a meaning of what he's trying to say. So maybe that one, mm, probably not. All right? Anyone else? Name me. Simply put. Simply put. Mm hmm. Simply put. Vamos a ver. Simply put. How many have simply put? I could be accepted also. All right. Simply put. If you put simply put, I will accept it also. All right. For number three, simply put. All right. And the other one that someone mentioned was um, to say, yeah. to say, to say, okay, that could be acceptable to say also, that could be acceptable. The book has namely, right? I'm giving you what the book has namely, but if you put the other um, the one that I consider not to be would be this means. This means. All right. This means uh, that one will probably not go there on number three, but the rest I will accept. All right. Okay. What about number four? Who wants to read number four? Me, teacher. Okay. These brands have become well known. This means they have replaced the common terms for similar products in our language. All right, very good. Anyone else have something different? In other words? Mm, yes, in other words, yes. All right, very good. The book. El libro, the book has these. He mentioned Iris and um, I believe it was Abigail, right? All right. So this would be number four. If you put this on number four, that's what the book has All right, for number four. In other words, anyone have something different? Now remember that here is this means is giving like an 
the same information, but in other words, okay? In otras palabras, it's giving the same meaning, but more specific, more in a, def, in a definition, right? In another way to express and define what the person is trying to say. This means, this means, very good, very good. So number five, what do you have for number five? I'll do it. All right, go ahead. You have to publish high quality contents. Simply put, by creating valuable content to be introduced to new audience. All right. All right, very good. The book has simply put as number five. Anyone have something different? The book has simply put. Does anyone have something different for number five? Namely. Okay, namely. Okay, namely, any, anyone else with something different? I select namely too. Okay, all right, namely by creating all right, uh, namely, 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 that could be accepted also. I will accept that one also, all right? I will accept namely also. So now, now that you saw some of these words, some of these phrases, can you create your own? Pueden crear sus propias? Can you create your own? This is your own expression now right this will be your own expression i want you to create i want you to write i'm going to make this not too long right van a ser 25 right no <laughs> no i want you to do just two all right write two Two sentences. These are your own, right? The twenty-five. Que estamos hasta ma mañana, right? <laughs> right to. Yeah. No. <laughs> Ni yo me daría veinticinco, right? No. Write two. Write two sentences. Okay. Write two sentences using your own. Using your own expressions all right that's the city of all right write your own sentences write two write two sentences using your own expressions all right this one you do not have to send it to me esta no me la tienen que mandar all right what you're going to do is i'm going to call on you i'm going to call on a few of you all right and then you can give, you can say your sentences. You're going to your sentences, all right? You do not have to send it to me. You're going to just speak, say your sentences. That's all you're going to do. So you're going to write them and then I'm just going to call on you, all right? But I'm going to select a few of you and then you give me your sentences, all right? You can say them here in the class. So I'm going to give you a few minutes. Remember, only you only have to do two. Más on dos, only two. Esto significa
Teacher, only two. Sentences. Only two. Only two. Only two. Okay. Write two sentences. That's it. Only two. Okay. Is is um is anyone finished? Yes. Okay. All right. This is... Okay, anyone else is finished? Yes, teacher. All right, great. Let me see. All right, it's because I'm getting up. I have to, les tengo que decir algo también. I have to tell you something that administration is letting me know. All right, Mr. Ahorita me está mandando mensaje ahorita. So just give me. One second, real quick. Okay, si todavía están escribiendo, so I can pause for a minute. And let's continue, and I will let you know, para que te me mande más información, I will let you know what is working. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm getting a lot of details for you. Les tengo que dar unas, unas diferentes noticias. All right, that, that they're sending me right now. But I will tell you, okay, after we do this activity, I will let you know, but I'm still escribiendo. All right, let me, let me call on some of you. Who would like to express their sentences here? Someone that is finished? Let's hear you. I want to hear you speak. Me. All right, go ahead. Number one, it has been raining a lot. This means that we are in the raining season. <laughs> Very good, excellent, all right. Let me, let me write your name down first, Rolando. All right, go ahead, continue. What is your Number other one? two, all right. you have to lower the OM, no, the temperature of the OM. Simple put, could it over low heat? Could you lower the heat? Is that what you mean? You have, you have to lower the temperature. Uh, excuse me, teacher, yes? Okay. okay. You have to lower the temperature of the OM. Simple put, cook it over low heat. All right. It's correct. Lower, lower the heat. Is that what you're trying to say at the end? Lower the heat? Lower heat. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, low, low heat. Okay. Lower. Okay, you saying, bajarle al fuego o, o ponerlo en fuego lento? Which one are you trying to say? Yeah. Tien, eh, eh, bájale la temperatura al, ah, al entonces, horno. Lower. You have, you have to lower the temperature of the oven. All right. Simple put. Cook it over low heat. Cook it um, over low correct. heat. All right, that is correct. Yes. It's because when you're reading it, you're like pausing. Cook. Uh, the, right, so I, I'm having a hard time, but it's correct. It's correct, Rolando. 
Okay. Simply put, right? Thank you. Very good. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you, Thank Rolando. You. Thank you. Next person. Perfect. Next one. Me, teacher. All right. Uh, it sounds like it is or something. Yes. All right. Okay, it is. Okay. The shirts have discount. In other words, these were in promotion. Ah, very good. Very good. Okay, the second is the company is searching brand alien alliances. 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 Sorry, alliances. Namely, co-branding. All right, very good. Yes, namely when you just name something, right? Very good. Excellent. Perfect. Anyone else? Me, Anyone teacher. Else? Okay, and then Juan Jose. Right, go ahead. Most of the customers recommend a business which are satisfied. In other words, the same clients can help company to increase brand awareness. Okay, very good. Very good. Uh, brand awareness should have a great marketing mix, namely develop a strategistic plan for product, price, place, and promotion. Okay, can, can you repeat that again, please? Brand awareness should have a great marketing mix, namely develop a strategistic plan for product, price, place, and promotion. Okay, all right, use the word mainly, all right, very good, very good. Use the phrase mainly, very good, excellent, excellent. Juan Jose, thank you. Abigail. Okay. Juan Jose and then Flor. My sentence is, is about another situation. For example, in the first sentence, one way to learn is by doing. Simply put, practicing. Simply put? Practicing. Okay, participate. No, practicing. Practicing. Okay, very good. Very good. Excellent. I could barely hear you. You sound very, very okay. low. Okay. Okay. And the other sentence is Pedro, this is work, his homework of time. That is, he is responsible. Okay, very good. Very good. Excellent. Okay, Flor. Yes. Um, number one, when my mother came home from Mexico, she brought me my favorite treat, namely spicy candies that I love. <laughs> I can probably figure out, is that a true story or are you just saying that? Now, um, it's a true, a true story, but when she come, came from USA. No uh, okay. Mexican. Okay, uh -huh. yeah, but it's but true. It's, okay, so they sell a lot of Mexican products in the United States. Yes. Maybe Texas, California, right? So uh -huh. they sell those. I used to I used to buy them. I don't know if it's the same, right? Lucas, eh, como tamarindo con chile, eh, yes. the other like mango. They're like no son mango, pero dulce con chile, right? They're yes. like lollipops, right? Mm -hmm. uh, am I getting close? Estoy cerca ahí? Yes. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I used, okay. to, I used to buy them also, right? I used okay. To buy them. All right, and the other is my husband sometimes thinks in the morning. In other words, he got up very happy. All right, very good. Yes, very good. In other words, it's a true story too. All right, great. Yeah, all right. I'm glad to hear that he wakes up happy, right? And very good. Thank you, Flor. Excellent, excellent. Um, next, anyone else? Anyone else? If not, then we can continue. We can continue. Me, teacher. Okay. Okay, number one. Okay, hold on, Miguel. All right. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Number one, uh, my car used a little bit of gasoline. This means I will say my money per month. Per month. All right. Mm -hmm. And number two, uh, some. Some employees in my company they have a, a day off per week. In other words, nobody no nobody works 
one day. Okay. All right. In other words. In other in words. Other, in other words, yes. Very yes. good. All right. Very good. Very good. All right. Excellent. So everyone gets a day off, right? Everyone gets a day off, basically. Right? Very good, Miguel. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Thank you, Excellent. All right. Edwin, did you? Yes, I finished my two. Okay, go okay. ahead, Edwin. Uh, the supermarket has been uh, reorganizing. In other words, you have to go to another supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, the number two, the party is over at midnight. This means that you have to leave my house at 12 p.m. Okay. It's is Very is good. That correct. Yes, this means you have to leave my house. Yes, that is correct. Yeah. Good usage. Good usage. All right. Okay. Let me see. All right. Okay. Thank you, Edwin. All right. All right. Rolando, Iris, Abigail, Flor, Juan Jose, Miguel, and Edwin. Thank you for your participation. All right. Let's continue. Let me see. All right, here are the, estas son las noticias de última hora. Ah. <laughs> so, déjame leer bien. So I'm going to have to tell you something different. All right. This, la encuesta, the survey, will be done on Thursday. Vamos a realizar el jueves, all right? El día de reprogramación de la clase faltante. So we will do it that day, all right? Uh, this is what INSA4 wants. So that is the day that we will do the last class. El mismo día de la última clase sería la encuesta también, all right? So it will be on Thursday. Now, las notas, please have them finish by Wednesday. Okay, please have them finish by Wednesday, all right? By Wednesday, si para el miércoles veo ahí algunos que no han hecho ni nada, eh, como lo estoy viendo ahorita, eh, I will send your name. Mandé, mandaré sus nombres al grupo. All right? No es para nada, like, oh, no, no más para como dar notificación quienes faltan para completar la plataforma. All right? So, I do not want to do that. Okay? Yo no quiero hacer eso. Nunca me gusta hacerlo. Ahí depende de ustedes, right? So please don't do it. I'm letting you know right now. Y me han pedido que les dé esa información a ustedes también. De que tenga ya todo terminado. All right? Por favor. Y así no van a haber atrasos. You just, all you're doing is setting yourself back. I do not want that for anyone. I want you to continue. I want you to grow. I want you to progress. All right, so remember that. Uh, anything else? Let me see. No, that is it. All right. If you have any questions about the platform, just let me know. All right, let me know. You can contact me and I will gladly help you. All right, let me do the second attendance. All right, voy a hacer la segunda lista de asistencia. Please be attentive. All right, let me see. All right, Abigail. Present. Okay, thank you. Beatriz. Present. All right, great. Blanca. Blanca. Present. Okay, thank you. Um, Brenda. Okay. Carlos. Carlos. I thought you were here, Carlos. Okay, no answer. Diana? Present. Okay, thank you. And Edwin? Present. Okay, thank you. Flor? Present. All right, great. Francisco? Present. All right. I'm here. Redis? All right, thank you. Glenda? Glenda? Okay, no answer. Be Iris? 
Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jackie. Present. Okay, thank you. Jarvin. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jennifer. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Juan Jose. Thank you. All right, great. Miguel. I'm here, teacher. All right, great. Fabio. Present. All right. Rolando. I'm here. All right. And Janari. I'm here. All right. Awesome. Okay. Let me see. All right. Do, 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 do. All right, Miguel, glad to see you back. All right. Glad to see you here again, Miguel. All right, so thank you. Thank you, teacher. Right. <laughs> you, they called you today, right? Le dieron una llamadita, right, Miguel? Yes, yes. <laughs> but the, the last week uh, I was working. Yes. Uh, uh, because this is the reason I don't, uh, I can't connect. Yes, I, I saw it there. I can see the yes the notification all right but i'm glad to okay. see you back miguel i understand your Thank work you. your work has kept you away from the classes but i'm glad you're here all right glad to have Thank you, you back all right no problem let me see all right mm, let's continue let's continue all right now that we did this part Let's focus on the pyramid, the pyramids. Now, the pyramids are on page, page, um, oh, let me see what the message, hold on real quick. Okay, I have another message for you, sorry. All right, I have another message. you will receive están diciendo aquí que van a recibir ustedes you're going to receive the um, all the information tomorrow mañana okay ojo con esto una vez más ustedes van a recibir eso esa información mañana para la encuesta y no pueden hacer la encuesta eh, ustedes solos okay me están diciendo que les tengo que decir esto, no están autorizados, como ya lo había dicho antes, no están autorizados para hacer la encuesta, eh, la haremos en clase, en clase together, all right? They just wanted me to remind you, recordarles una vez más, eso. All right, let's continue, hoy sí. Let's look at the pyramid. On page, can you tell me what page, please, again? What is the page that we see here? 38. Okay. Page 38, right? We're going to look at page 38 and 39. We're going to try to do both, hopefully. All right, let's look at page 38, class. Let me see. We did this already. Page 38. Can you begin reading, please, um, Janari? No, um, Fabio. I haven't heard you, Fabio. Janari, you will be next. Fabio? Okay. I will be able to describe my journey in the loyalty pyramid from indifferent to committed customer of a renowned local product service. Okay. Pyramid. 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 Very good. Perfect. Continue, please, Janari. Number one. Janari, hello. I cannot hear you. I'm sorry, Tishan. Okay, great. Let's talk. Uh, how passionate? Uh, it's right? Passionate. Okay, passionate. Passionate. Okay. How passionate are you about the brand you con consume? Yeah. Do you feel these products de define how you are? Mm, who you who are. are? 
who you are. So. Okay, very good. Good correction. Good correction. All right, very good. Now, here we're going to describe, and we're talking, we're going to be talking about the loyalty pyramid. Okay, this is a pyramid. A pyramid, but that's pyramid, all right, for those of you, in case you're wondering, pyramid is, is this triangle right here. And your commitment as a customer, your commitment to a customer. Imagine, imagine a company right now. Who, who are you committed to? Are you committed to a certain company or a certain business? Any of you? Do you say, no, I will always go there. I will always purchase there, no matter what. Does anyone have a company or service that they are loyal to? Estamos lealtad, right? You are loyal to that company or service. Anyone? No? No one? No one has... I'm loyal to Super Selectos. Okay, you are loyal to Super Selectos. All right, great. Okay, anyone else? Uh, maybe buy, teacher, maybe buy some brands. Yeah, in my case, yeah. are brands. Okay. Not... Okay, mm -hmm. but... Uh, like, like Scott? <laughs> like what? Uh, like, uh, as, um, Nido Milk, Nido Milk. Okay. Leche Nido. Uh, or, I don't know. Uh, um, I'm loyal to Coca-Cola. <laughs> All right. All right. I think... Okay. Okay. All right. Any other? Oh, you can give brands. You can give brands. You can give brands or you can give uh, uh, services. You can give companies. All right. Claro, tío. Okay. <laughs> All right. So. I'm loyal to Samsung too. All right, Samsung. Some people are loyal to Samsung. All right. Some people are vice versa, right? Some people they have to have an iPhone, right? Some people prefer Android and a Samsung phone, right? Okay. Mm, all right, very good, very good. Now, keep that in mind for the next activity that we will do. Right? I want you to just keep that in mind. And then how passionate are you about the brands you consume? Do you feel these products define who you are? Do they define who you are? Defining quién son ustedes by the product that you are loyal to? Hmm? Anyone? I think that define uh, how loyal can can I be? All right. So okay. So yeah. you, so it, that basically defines your loyalty, right? How loyal can you be, can you be, right? Okay, that could be a challenge, right? Could be a challenge. Um, anyone else that would like to give an opinion? Do you Peter, feel? I think mm -hmm. we are uh, loyal to Colgate. Okay, Colgate, Colgate. Colgate. All right. Okay, so they define who you are. All right. They, why do you feel? Loyal to Colgate. Abigail? Um, maybe because we are in, because that brand is top of mind in that kind of products. Okay, so it's okay. So it feels the best, right? It's probably the the best. Who uses another brand? Does anyone use anything else besides Colgate, Crest? I don't know. Me, me, me teacher, um, I'm loyal to Get Red Drink because it identifies with me because I do a lot of sports. Ah, very good. Very good example. Yeah. Yes, all right. So you drink the Get Red, right? It defines who you are, a sports person, right? A sports person. Okay. Very good, very good, excellent, excellent, good, good, um, good input. Okay, let's continue. Mm -hmm. um, 
Beatriz, can you read building vocabulary, please? Okay. The following words describe the stage that customers go through as they build loyalty to a brand, product, or organization. Match the stage to their corresponding restrictions. Okay, stages. Stages. Very good. All right. Can you say this word right here? Through. Mm, through. 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 Very through. good. Very good. Excellent. All right. Thank you, Beatriz. So we, we have some vocabulary words here that describe the stages. The stages are basically the, the different levels, all right? Los niveles, right? That customers go through as they build loyalty. So this is basically a pyramid that defines the stages of loyalty of customers from the least to the most, okay? So it's like, ah, I know you, but I don't respect you, right? I know the brand, but ah, I, don't, I don't pay attention to it. Or you get to a higher level where you get to the, the bonding stage, right? Where you're like, like uh, one of your classmates say super selectors. It's like, is there's already a bond. There's already a connection that you cannot disconnect that person to their loyalty to either the product or the service or the um, or the place, right? And there are some there are some um, there are some customers like that, right? There are some customers like that. And let me see. Let's look at these. I want you to read the number one and read the word and then read across. Just read across. Read across, please. Um, uh, Jackie, number one, just read across, please. Advantage. Okay, advantage. Uh, customers begin comparing the brand with others to see whether, it's, whether it delivers on its potential. Very good, excellent, excellent. Jarvin, continue, please. Okay, their sense of self. Sense of self. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. Number three. Um, continue, please, Francisco. Branding. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hello. Okay. Uh, continue, Hello, please. Teacher. Teacher. Uh huh. Can you continue, please? Okay, I cannot teacher. hear you. I think your connection is unstable. All right. Uh, can you continue, please, Flor? Yes. Is uh number two right mm, can someone tell floor what number we are please three right. number three fair number work three. order the stage of brand loyalty in the pyramid compare your pyramid okay. hold on hold on, hold on. Mm, number three of... ah. it's bonding <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Ah, okay <laughs> Okay, bonding. Customers start to think about whether the brand meets their, their wants and needs. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, Sorry. next one. No problem. Next one, please, um, Miguel. Okay, relevance. Consumers have determined that cost advantage and performance are all at levels that they are happy with okay all right i want you to tell me what this is there 
Okay, they're, they're very good. They're yeah. very happy with. And this word? Advantage. Um, advantage. Advantage. Advent advantage. Very good. Excellent. Advantage. All right. Thank you, Miguel. And you, continue, please, Diana. Diana, are you there? Are you here in class, Diana? Okay, let's continue, um, Jackie. Performance. Customers are aware of your brand at little else. Okay, very good, uh, very good. Now, I want you to write which one goes where. I want you to figure out which one goes here, which one goes where, all right? What goes here? What goes here? What goes here? I'm going to put the number one, two, three, or four, or four, three, or however you decide. I'm going to give you a few minutes to look for the vocabulary and their terminology.
Okay, is anyone finished? Yes. All right, let's let's do this. This is just basic vocabulary. Um, what do we have here? Fabio, can you begin, please? Okay. Advantage. Uh, for that, I have that is consumer have determined that cause advantages and performance are all at levels that they are happy with. Okay, so you have the number four. Number four, right? Number four. Okay, what do you think, class? Is that correct? For me, yes. Yes. Hmm? Is it here, 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 or here? For me, it's yes. Number it's number four. Number four. Right here? Yes. All right. Just like Fabio yes. says, so everyone agrees with that, right? Everyone agrees with that. Okay. Well, for me, advantage is the two. Customers are beginning to associate the brand with their emotion ah. and with their sense of self. Okay. All right. That is that is correct. All yes, right. I oh. All right. Very good. So here it goes here. All right. Here, advantage is the beginning of the association, right? All right. Number two, where would it be number two? Present. Mm -hmm. Customer are aware of your brand, but little errors. Okay, very good. Very I good. have this. That is correct. That is correct. I have this. Uh, someone is saying something? Okay, number number three, Flor, what do you have? Bonding. For me, teacher, was number number two. Customers are beginning to associate the brand with their emotions and with their sense of self. Mm. But I think that I'm wrong. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's the fourth. Consumer. Yeah. Consumer have determined that cost advantage and performance are all at levels that they are happy with. Yes, that is bonding. Yes, they are happy with, right? All levels, todos los niveles. That means, just like someone said earlier about super selectors, that means they meet all their levels necessary, right? Very good. What about relevance? Relevance. Customers start to think about whether the brand meets their wants and needs. Very good. This is relevance, right? This is where they start to to start saying, hey, is this really what I want? Right? They start thinking about the product or service. Very good. Then the last one, performance. Can someone just read it, please? Customer begin comparing the brand with others to see whether it delivers on its potential. Very good, on its potential. Excellent, excellent. So we have this. This is the, the these are the answers. Okay, these are the answers. And make sure you get them correctly. Okay, get them correctly in your notebook or in your book if you have it printed because we're going to do the next activity in relation to this vocabulary. Now, I want you to order the stages here in the pyramid, order the stages of brand loyalty in the pyramid. So I want you to put, bonding is already here, all right? Just the bonding, right? So this one is already done. I want you to put these in accordance with their level, in accordance to the level. We know bonding is the top, right? It's like when it's the ultimate, right? It's like 100% loyalty we have here. Most, least. Most, least. Kind of like the adverbs of frequency, huh? 100% <laughs> to 0%, all right? So we have, what will go here? What will go here? What will be... 
here. Think that it's performance. Okay. All right. Close. Anyone else? For me, teacher, is presence. Yes, the presence. The presence. Uh, according to the definition, customers are aware of the brand, but little else, right? They don't know nothing else. They just, they just know. They are aware. They don't cuenta, right? But nothing else. So we put here presence, right? <gasps> All right. What about the next one? Relevance. Hmm? Relevance. Relevance. All right. Very good. Oh, man, I messed up right here. Really nothing. Yes. I'm going to write it here better. <clears throat> All right. And what about the next one? What do you think goes here? Performance. Performance. Okay, and then the last one will be advantage. Advantage, right? Advantage. Those that is the pyramid. All right. So you begin with the presence where you become aware of a product, then you go to the the stage of relevance where you start to think about like hmm, right. Yeah, I'm being familiarized. You start to to maybe start soliciting the product. And then you have performance, right? You have performance. Well, you start comparing. Then you start going to different places. Be like, hmm, I'm going to compare this with others of its potential. And then you have the advantage where they're, they're, your emotions are beginning to develop, right? Where you start beginning to feel... Like you have to go there or this is the only product that I want. You start to develop loyalty factors. And then you have bonding. Bonding is like the top where you are 100% happy with everything and you cannot go nowhere else but there. Now, let me clear this. Here's just a, another triangle upside down where you have bonding, advantage, performance, relevance, and presence, what we just did right now. And I just want someone to read the benefits. Someone just read the first paragraph, please. The benefits. ¿Cuáles son beneficios? What are the benefits of a pyramid? Diana, go ahead, please. Evidence shows that customers are willing to pay more for the brands they love. So improving brand loyalty is essential if you want to increase your customer base and drive profits. Profits. Oh, profits. Very good. Excellent. So here are the benefits about any business or if you ever get know someone or are going to open up your own business, it's good to understand the brand pyramid. Okay? The brand pyramid. Um, continue, please. Janari. Okay, 
but first you must understand just where the customer sits on the brand pyramid. Doing this can help you to identify just how strong the con connection, connection is between your brand and your customer, customers. And enable, you enable, enable, okay, and enable you to be, you to think about what more can be done to build on the relationship you have with them. Could you, for example, set up a customer loyalty program or invest in a new marketing strategy that effectively, effectively, yes effectively resonate with your with your target audience very good audience audience okay. very good so here it's important to understand that you have to identify who your customers are in everything in business you must identify and be connected with your customers okay it's always essential for for any business to analyze these types of pyramid to become aware of who your customers are. Finish, please, Miguel. When you understand the five stage stages that people the stages that people go through, will they build while 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 they build loyalty to your brand? You can focus your marketing effort on efforts, efforts. Effort, efforts, efforts on leading target consumer through them. Okay, customers. Customer. All right, very good, very good. So when you when you become aware of these stages, then you are able to maybe grow as a business and continue to maintain your customers. Okay, that was just a little something extra. This is not in your book. Now, for tomorrow, para mañana, for tomorrow. Tomorrow you will do this activity in class, in groups, all right? You're going to do this speaking activity, which is basically on page 39, right? Page 39. This is for tomorrow at the beginning of the class. So if you want to analyze it, you're going to start thinking um, about a product or a brand or a business that you are that you are attached to. Someone said Coca-Cola. Someone mentioned Super Selectos, right? Those type of ideas for tomorrow. Be ready, and then one that you are not. Okay, so one is going to be a yes, and one is going to be a no. A company that you are not attached to or a brand you are not attached to. For example, uh, someone said Coca-Cola, right? So to me, I think that the one the person is not familiar with or is not attached to will probably be Pepsi, right? Right? So I think if you drink Coca-Cola, you're not going to drink Pepsi, right? So that's just my opinion, right? Um, just as an example. And then you're going disregard this these are just some questions this is like what you are attached to and what you are not attached to but you're going to speak based on where you stand donde queda usted como consumidor where do you stand as a consumer in the pyramid in which stage are you are you in the bonding relevance presence or advantage where do you consider yourself in the pyramid in relation to the brand or the company or the service. And that is for tomorrow. All right, so you know the activity for tomorrow, maybe you can analyze the brands which you are attached to and you are not. Now, um, Blanca. Hello, Blanca. Yes, Did hello. You manage to speak with her to change no she didn't answer okay all right okay 
Let's continue with the last attendance and the final one. Abigail. Present. Okay, thank you. Uh, Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Blanca. Present. Okay, thank you. Uh, Brenda. Okay, Carlos. Diana. Present. Okay, thank you. Edwin. Present. Okay, thank you. Flor. Present. All right, great. Francisco. Present. Okay, awesome. Freddy's. I'm here, teacher. All right, great. Glenda. Glenda. Okay, she didn't connect today. All right. Let me write this. All right. It is. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Jackie. Present. Okay. Jarvin. Present teacher. Thank you. Jennifer. Present teacher. All right. Juan Jose. Present. Thank you. Miguel. Present teacher. Thank you. Fabio. Present. Thank you. Rolando. Hello, hello. All right, great. And Janari. I'm here. All right, great, awesome. Okay, class, uh, the one that stays today is Blanca and everyone else, I'll see you tomorrow and we will continue, okay? Have a great night, everyone. Take care. Thank you for joining. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, Diana. Bye, Mike. Bye, Rolando. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Rolando. Bye, bye. Bye, teacher. All right, take care. Take care. Thanks. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Hey, teacher. Hi, hello, Blanca. I want to ask you something, but I want to make a list because for me, it's difficult to talk in English. And when it's about the past, the simple past or the, I don't know how to say another past, but it's more difficult for me. But when I talk in past. Okay, in, in simple past, in simple past? Mm. Or in, uh, <laughs> in, uh, in, in in past, general. Continue. Okay. Past, yeah, yeah. Past continuous, right? Or, or uh, it's general okay. because it's it's confused for me uh, to say some words on past and uh, or not because when I used to when I use have for example. I don't know if if I have to put H A B yes. or H A B E. Mm, okay. I don't know. I don't okay. know if I if I you have a problem with irregulars. Okay. Irregular yeah. verbs. All right. That's the that's the detail, right? Irregular verbs. Irregular verbs, uh, you have a uh, half had right and i'm going to do you have a but list do you have my, a... i i have a list but my problem is with when i have to uh, use the first uh, form or the second that you that you show in the in the screen okay now uh -huh. all right here's the thing yeah. Simple present is when you talk about actions that are true or, or happening. Actions that are true. Acciones que son reales. All right. Mm -hmm. That are real. Now, the difference between the simple past is mm -hmm. that these are actions que son las más complicadas, right? The simple past are actions. that were 
done, fueron hechas, that were done, and finished. Ok, ok. And finished in the past. All right. Significa que no continúan. They do not continue. They happened and they stayed in the past. Ok. Ok. Those are, those are, those are the, the uh, vocabulary that you are going to use past tense of the verbs. Now, that, that is when you use them, Blanca. I had, I took, yo llevé, yo tomé, uh, yo comí. Give me some verbs in the past, Blanca. The thing is, is there was una clave aquí, Blanca. You have okay. to memorize them. There is no other, no hay it's, una clave. Yeah, there is it's no. Simple, it's simple to memorize them? It is if you practice them, right? But then okay. you, okay, you have irregular verbs and you have regular verbs. Los regular verbs, you just add, le agrega ed at the end. Eso es todo. All right? Okay. You add ed, all right? For example, if you see, it says, yo horné un cake, right? I bake. Bake. Exactly. A cake. A cake, right? Now, that's, those are regular verbs. I right. play. All right, these are regular. You add ed. I play, right? Yo jugué. I played soccer, right? I played soccer yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. Son acciones que se cometieron en el pasado y hasta allí llegaron. All right? Simple They, past. Exactly, okay. exactly. Now, the problem with many, with many people is the irregulars. Because you change the word completely, and some don't change. Algunos no cambian, Blanca. Uh -huh. For example, dígame esta. Red. Red. Okay. Red. okay. ¿Cuál es el present? Which one is the? Can you pronounce? Can you pronounce the simple present for me? Simple present. Mm -hmm. What's it here? Read. Okay. And simple past? <laughs> It's the same. Okay. Can you pronounce it? Read. Mm, I start. Here it is. You read. pronounce red. Red. Okay. Yes. For example, red. I read books. Yo leo libros. I read books every day. All right. Something that is true, right? Algo que es real, es verdadero. I read books every day. But if you say, yo leí un libro oh, last week, how would you say it? I read El Principito. ¿Cómo? I read El Principito. Uh, I read, I read. I read El Principito. Principito. <laughs> el cipitillo, right? <laughs> All right. So, el principito, right? All right. I read. It's Le Petit Prince, right? Okay. Is is that the name of, this is the name of the book, right? Yeah, but in English, have another name, too. Okay. Okay. Well, the, I don't know if it's an English book or a Spanish book. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's translated to... Ah, it's an English book translated to Spanish. Yeah. Ah, no es un libro de aquí, de, right? No, oh, no. Ah, okay, then you will say, I read The Prince. Okay. Because there are some books that are in Spanish only, right? Mm -hmm. And then there's some that are translated into Spanish. So this one is an English book. So you read The, the Prince, right? All right, I read The Prince. I read The Prince. All right, last week, digamos. ¿Cuándo? Um, last I can, year. Can I, can I say uh, in ninth grade? Okay, like yes, that? in ninth grade. In ninth grade, you can say it because it's already in the past. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I read the book in ninth grade. I read The Prince in ninth grade. That is correct. All right. Now, let me okay. ask you something, Blanca. 
Do you have a yeah. list of irregular verbs? I have some. For example, a go. Excuse me? Go. Okay, go. This is an irregular verb also. Go. I go to school, right? I go to yeah. class, right? Now, in simple pass? Went. Exactly. Went. I went. went to school yesterday. Okay, let me ask you this. Yeah. He, okay. I go to class. All right? Yo voy a clases. Can you tell me he? The same word, lo mismo oración, he but goes, uh, he, he goes, goes to class, right? To class, but it's uh, in person, right? Yeah, that's in, that's in person, simple. I'm just analyzing. I'm just analyzing yeah. your, your grammar, okay? And what about in plural, we? Uh, it's the same, both. Uh, okay, very good. We go to both. class, all right? We go to class. Okay, now, here I... Can you make it in simple past? I went to class. Okay, very good. Now, what yesterday. about? Okay, yesterday. All right. I went to class yesterday. All right. Now, what about this one in third person? He. I think that it's the same. You think? He went. Yeah, he went to class. Two. All right. Yes, it stays the same. What about we? Well, <laughs> I don't remember, but I think that it's the same because it's it's the same when when we use the verbs in in the first person. Okay. Yeah, that is correct, Blanca. There's no. There's no even thinking about it, right? It's already yeah. affirmed, right? When we use the simple past, the verb does not change. Nunca. Okay. Right? okay. It does it never changes when we use the simple past. Whether it's okay. I, you, uh-huh. Okay. That's that helped me to me. Because when uh when we talk about past participle, it's something that it begins on the past and we are still doing right yes it continues to the present okay because that is the reason that i confuse because always uh, uh well sometimes i use have have finished or something like that and okay. and put the verb have uh, when it's something that I finished already or or is or, or it's in the past. Yes. Now here's the here's the thing, Blanca. With yeah. with the present perfect, you use the past participle, right? But mm -hmm. there are actions that are done within a certain period in the past. It doesn't mean that they have they continue today also, okay? También puede ser que fueron el pasado, pero por un largo de tiempo, un periodo de tiempo, pero siempre en el pasado. Oh my God. Yes, right. <laughs> the past part is the present perfect has um, has like different different structures where it could be continued to now. Como decir, yo he estado dando clases hasta ahorita, right? I have been giving class. I'm using the present perfect, or I can say I have. I have gone uh, to San Salvador three times. Yo he ido, pero no que estoy ahorita yendo, right? So you can yeah. use them in, in different ways. And I have, I have something uh, that maybe I can share with you, Blanca. Se lo voy a mandar. Okay, okay. With the present perfect, y usted va a ver las tres diferentes formas también. All right? So you can see the present perfect, how it's used in different ways. And the time frame, y el, el tiempo de, 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 de límite, right? Okay. The limit. It's not the same as the simple past, right? It's similar, but not the same. Okay. It's similar. Okay. 
All right, so I will send you that. Okay, I will Thank send you. you that. No problem. And um, maybe, maybe if no one else stays later on, if you se quiere quedar, you can stay also. Okay. Okay. So we can okay. continue. We can continue practicing, and we can do it one on one. Okay. Okay. Thank no problem. You. No problem. All right. Thank um, you. No problem. Thank you for staying in this extra minutes, Blanca. And no, thank see, you for explaining to me. No problem. We'll send you more, more, uh, more details. Okay. Okay. Thank All right, you. Blanca. You have a good night, and thank you. you thank you for your participation. You too. You too. Bye. Bye. Bye.